Chi Harbig PP is a 2.7 battle rating monstrosity that proves traps are hella gay. The Chi Harbig PP is what happens when your navy makes a habit of face planting into the seabed over and over again, and decides that the best use of their dwindling naval resources is to reuse their shitty naval cannons for almost non-existent Pacific theater tank combat. The Chiha Long Dung is part of a category of low tier vehicles that most players furiously masturbate to simply because they can be used in rare circumstances to dab on higher tier opponents. This is understandable, as high tier gameplay is such a colossal shit show that the only way to make it any better would be to ruin everybody else's game by being utterly worthless to get a couple of laughs. Because I find this behavior frankly annoying as shit and literally any low tier vehicles can do this. We will be keeping this review to its designated 2.7 battle rating. Here is how you play the well hung rice cooker. First load all 10 rounds of your semi armor piercing rice wine bottles. And appreciate the fact that Gaijin finally fucking allowed us to sit on loadouts in the test drive after 6 goddamn years. One would think that with a 120mm gun at this low of a tier it would have no trouble penetrating anything it hits. But the base fused semi armor piercing rounds on this Japanese technical are only capable of a disappointing 100 or so millimeters of penetration. Meaning that unlike certain other vehicles you can't just click on people and expect. Pearl Harbor Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. Your gun mount has a limited traverse angle of only 60 degrees, which can allow your opponents to easily outflank and inflict breach and barrel torture on your well hung flatbed. Protection wise this long boy is laughable. Two of your crew members rely on blind faith in the emperor and two more are playing fucking peekaboo behind a gun shield that doesn't even protect the gun well let alone anything fleshy behind it. This in theory makes the vehicle extremely vulnerable to quite literally anything and can be killed by simply machine gunning all the crew off the top of the vehicle. However, people seem to be utterly incapable of understanding this as a vast majority of the time. People simply panic and kill the wrong crew members or shoot center mass hoping for a critical hit, leaving the gunner alive to clap their dumbass cheeks. The gun shield doesn't even cover half the gunner's fucking torso and the breach is so large that from the side only a fucking stormtrooper could miss it. So how does one avoid breach and barrel torture in this thing? Well first off, you're essentially a gun with an engine and tracks slapped on. And unlike most Japanese cartoons, shoving your dung in people's faces at close range won't instantly result in you getting laid. Your job is to sit behind your teammates and destroy whatever vehicles you can. Because you only carry 10 rounds you can't afford to waste ammo. You must be careful and have a steady hand to dump your hot sticky loads into the appropriate targets. Ideally, look for positions that will give you flanking shots, where armor is often much thinner and keep an eye on your ammunition supply at all times. If you've done your job right and your team isn't as reliable as your nation's navy, you should have a cap circle nearby where you can replenish. This is not a fucking heavy tank. If you find yourself at close range you done fucked up. Now you know how to play insert penis joke here. Now get out there and show them that only size matters.